a very good evening to all and all present for this particular evening in this particular webinar for Northeast Youth Empowerment. And we are with us, uh, Mr. Hagimba, sir. He's a managing director, A Promise, and he is there to motivate all of us, all the youth, all the education fraternity, the entire ecosystem uh, across the globe, uh, and especially. Uh, the Northeast Youth, because this is our Northeast India webinar special series. And this is our 1,131 webinar. So moving ahead, uh, you can uh, watch it here. It is written that it is very important to connect, to inspire, to empower, and to act. So with this, we want to make this particular evening very powerful one for all of us. So let's begin. So good evening, everybody. A very good evening to all. Green evening, green evening. Here with A Promise and ICSI brings you the most amazing live session. We give you information that's gonna help you empower your life, take your life to the next level and make life one of the most amazing quality life we can ever have. Today is a very interesting topic. We have a very interesting topic today. And it is one of the most important skills that all the leaders have. The best leaders in the world are masters of this skill. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have that. We're going to discuss about that today. We're going to discuss about the topic today. So if you, can, if you have any guesses, if you have any guesses what that might be, what that might actually be, if you have any idea, if you have you know, any guesses of what that skill might exactly be, right? So please write it down, type it down in the comments below and Ms. Chitra can even read it out to me uh, if, if our lovely audience have posted any comments regarding that. Sure, sure, sir, sure. Yes, yes. Let's, let's make it a very lovely interactive session. Let's make it a very lovely, interesting, productive, effective session today. And we want to make sure that spending your time here, investing your time here, you're investing a part of your life now in this program. So we want to make sure it is very beneficial, not simply just me coming out and just speaking about it, just talking about it. Let's get something out of this. Let's make it very productive effective, right? And why not? Because it's a very important skill we're gonna discuss today. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have any guesses today, well, the topic that we're gonna discuss today is it's very important. I don't know, I mean, like uh, uh, I've been working, uh, I've worked in several uh, top multinational companies. I've worked in Tata company, I've worked in one of the fastest growing startup companies now with a valuation of $2 billion. Uh, yeah, and everywhere I went, whether I started my own company, whether I worked somewhere, right? This skill is very important. This skill is very important. And ladies and gentlemen, the skill is communication skills. Communication skills. Why is communication very important? Why is communication important? Communication, because it's all about influence. Communication is all about influence. You cannot control someone. You, the moment you start controlling someone, you will lose it. You cannot control someone. So the best thing that we have in hand is influence. Whether you want to raise up your salary, your pay, you want to increase your salary or your pay, or you want your colleagues to come together and start a business, or whether you want to you want to influence you want to you want your mom to buy you a new pair of shoes or trousers, whatever it is, whether you're speaking to your boss or your colleague or your loved ones or your families, anywhere, it is really important that you have the skill to influence them because without influence, things cannot come together. If you want your dream or a vision to be converted into reality, to be turned into reality, 
then what we the best thing the best thing we have at hand is influence there's so many books written on influence right why because it is really important right so we're going to talk about influence today we're going to talk about influence today so ladies and gentlemen let us without any further ado let us get started so you know in this in this the art of influence or the power of influence by robert cialdini one of the best selling books in the world there has been hundreds of research done in this particular area because i mean like if if you want to work together if you want to come together if you want if you're a leader if you're leading hundreds of people in an organization right then you need to make them agree with you if you want to do something good right you want them to do something for you you want to do something for them it requires influence and one of the moat for influence is communication communication skills so there most people misunderstand between communication and english communication is a skill influence is a skill it's a step by step process it's a step by step strategy it's a step by step method it's a step by step approach to a particular result whereas english it's a language it's a language so most people can get confused between communication and speaking english english is just a language communication is a skill communication can be developed and yes speaking english as well so now as i come to the point right communication so if influence is really that important anything that you ever want in your life is with a stranger most of the things let's say okay if i if, if that was too general then me let me get down to this statement that most of the things that you want in life is with a stranger right whether it be a spouse or a job you go for an interview or you go to a bank to get a loan you go anywhere you want to pitch your idea to investors all of them are strangers so it is important how to communicate effectively in such a way that the strangers agree to you that's how you convert a dream or a vision into a reality so right right so getting to this in this in this thing called communication it is very important right we know it is very important that what makes a communication effective so that we can influence someone what makes a communication effective so that we can influence someone right so what what is it what is required to have an effective communication what is required to have an effective communication what are the criteria of an effective communication well let us i know that it's just a one hour session and i'm sure it's going to be lovely it's going to be exciting it's going to be interesting it's going to be beneficial right let us get down to it some few points and yes if you want to get jobs if you want to go get a job or work with someone go for an interview right you need to i mean the first thing you need to, they will check is how effective is your communication that is very important there are certain jobs which does not require uh that much level of communication but hey man if you are with people if you are a human being if you are with any other people around you need to learn how to communicate effectively that's what i want to say so let us get down to some few points right about regarding communication well communication what is this thing called communication what is this thing called communication communication the best definition that i ever ha i have ever heard from someone uh, i forgot the name of that uh, influencer uh, the 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 definition is communication is the response you get communication is the response you get that's what in nlp neuro linguistic programming right they say communication is the response you get it's not about you just saying whatever you want to say and leave the place it's about you conveying your message in a very effective manner so that the other party accepts your message and you come together to a certain agreement and work on it so that you can get the desired result that is what it's all about so communication is the response you get 
What response are you getting from that determines the effectiveness of your communication. That's what it is. So now let us let us get down, right? So let's say I had a friend, all right? And he was texting his girlfriend and like I've been texting her and there was a fight in between. So, the, so my friend was texting her, all right? Day and night, you know, I'm sorry, please forgive me and all that. He was, he was tired. He was frustrated. And then he said, she's not communicating to me. She is not communicating to me. And she was telling me, she's not communicating. He said, she's communicating. She is communicating. What she's saying is, she, the, the way she's communicating is non is nonverbal. It's not verbal. She's not responding to you. That's a communication. We cannot not communicate. We cannot not communicate. We must all, we are always communicating. We're always communicating. We cannot not communicate. We're always communicating. So she's not re replying to his message. That means she's conveying a message. Yeah, on the other hand, there might be a possibility where she lost her phone, but there's also a possibility where she's not willing to return to his text message, right? We cannot not communicate. I asked him something. I asked him, hey, do you have that? And he's like, he's like, if he keeps his, you know, if he shows this facial expression, if he keeps mum, that is also a message. That is also a message. We cannot not communicate. So, and why is communication important? It is important because you can understand what's going on, right? If you want to grow a business, if you're an entrepreneur, what is really important is you know the art of selling, how to sell your product or your services. That is very important. Everywhere we're selling, most people have a negative association with sales. Most people have a negative association with sales that they are manipulative, that they're aggressive, right? But yeah, I mean, like there are those bad sales people over there. But yes, hey, every time every, I am right now selling an idea that on the concept of communication, I'm selling communication right now, right? I'm selling communication right now. Every day we're selling, we cannot not communicate. So what makes a communication effective? Let's have some fun. What makes a communication effective, right? So a communication is like we have, we have three aspects to it. The first one is, Verbal communication, you use words. What makes a community? There are three aspects to it. The first one is your words you use. The words that you use is very important, right? That's a verbal communication. I love you. I'm so happy to be here, right? These are words, right? This is one aspect of communication, this one part. Then the other one is your tone of voice, your vocal, the way you use your tone, the way you use your tone, that is very important as well. And the third one is your body language, how you can, how you present yourself, how you present yourself, the, 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 the words you use, your tone of voice, and your body language, three of them makes it will determine whether your communication is effective or ineffective. So what makes what makes this, I mean like so according to research, I forgot the name of the professor. He's a professor in psychology and he did a research. And how much does the impact has the words has on communication? If you're communicating to someone, how much does how much impact does the words have on communication. So it is. it was found out that 7%, 7% of the words we use effect in, on, the, on when, we, how, when we communicate. The 7%, okay, is from the words we use. Then the 38% 30, the 38 is using the tone of voice and the 55% is the, the way we, how we use the body. So if you want to have a very effective communication, what is really important is how you present yourself 
how you present yourself because it can it is it determines 55% of your communication so when does the communication become ineffective when does the communication become ineffective it becomes ineffective when it becomes incongruent when your words you use doesn't match the actions you present your body suppose if i say this i love you i love you right it does not mean it it does not mean it does not truly mean you can sense it you can feel it you can sense the feel you can sense it you can feel it you you can you can even know the intention at an unconscious level so it is very important it is very important that we present in a way that is effective right if somebody is listening to you like this it's sending a message if somebody is smiling and talking to us it is sending a message if somebody is frowning if the lips are if he's biting the lips even though there is no verbal communication there is still a message sent from the other side there is still a message sent from the other party right that is non verbal communication we cannot not communicate we're always communicating and for you to make influence someone for for us to influence someone it is very important how we convey the message and at the same time if we if we're making the other person feel comfortable if we're making the other person feel comfortable how comfortable is the other person is the other party that is very important because if we do not make them feel comfortable what's going to happen is they're going to guard themselves in sales we they call it rdr which stands for reactionary defense response reactionary defense response which means that they're trying to defend themselves right they're guarding themselves they're defending themselves they're not open to your ideas they're not open to your ideas they're defending themselves they're guarding themselves and so that is i mean like if if that is the situation you cannot influence them so how do you make someone comfortable yes smile that's the most effective way it has even found out that when you smile you make someone feel comfortable ready to open up it makes the communication effective very very effective right and eye contact eye contact is very important it has been found by research that the communication becomes 20% more effective if we look at the eye if if we look at one another in the eye the communication becomes more effective right it is very very important that people trust you right will you buy from someone if you have the same product right if you have the same product somebody selling a pen there's a stranger and there's your friend and they have the same product which one will you buy who will you buy from who will you buy from will you buy from the stranger or will you buy it from your friend obviously i feel i believe that you will buy it from your friend why 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 would you buy it from your friend the reason i believe is because because of trust because of trust it is important that people trust you so we need to know yes and there should be the intention right the right intention the good intention should be there the good intention should be there so it is important that people trust you so they do not guard themselves so that we can come together on an agreement like there's a code that says <clears throat> i i'm i'm remembering it if you want to walk fast walk alone if you want to walk far walk together you need a team right it is not simply just saying the words it is how you make them feel it's how it's how you set up the environment how you make them feel that's why communication is important and how long will the team walk together depends on the communication that is going on in the team inside the team right so that's what's important so coming to the point rdr reactionary defense responses so you have to smart first impression is very important first impression is very important right how people perceive you is very important. how people perceive you how you present yourself the dress that i'm wearing right now it's communicating the smile that i'm having right now it's communicating now ladies and gentlemen let's just have let's let's do it like this 
right? But versus, let's do it like this. I know, I know most people know this, but we need to have to inculcate and train the habit of smiling. We need to smile more often. We need to smile more often because when you smile, you create an environment of positivity. You create, and when people are positive, they are motivated. When people are motivated, they will get down to actions. And action is going to help us get what we want, what we desire, reach our goals together. So, yeah, how do you communicate? How do you communicate? In fact, communication is a very big topic, so I cannot cover it all up here, but let me bring to you, my dear audience, our dear audience, some of the tips of an effective communication, right? So the smile, RDRs, reactionary defense responses. So you need to smile. You need to smile. We need to train ourselves to smile every day because when you smile, right, the other person will start feeling comfortable, right? Yes, there's a time and place, but hey, everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be welcome. The most important thing is people want to feel important. People want to feel welcome. People want to feel important. And you, you, you convey that message by the way how you present yourself. And if you present yourself with a smile, wow, he likes me. He likes me. There's something about this guy, he likes me. There's something about this girl, he likes me. Right? If, if, if there is rapport, if there's rapport, if there's likeness, I'm a one another, then we will go together. As long as there is commonness, as long as there is commonness between people, they will go together. When there is there's a large number of differences between people, we cannot walk together, right? So it is important how we create rapport. It is important how we create trust. It is important we learn how to make someone feel comfortable. It's important how we present ourselves in a way that it is convincing. So these are all very important because, un, because till we die, we're gonna be around people. The governments, the private schools, the private organizations, every, every, every organization, community, right? Is run by people. And we better learn this skill on how to influence one another. So like I said, we need to smile, learn to smile. Right? We need to learn to smile. How, right? So that is one of the most important ways. RDR, as I said, reactionary defense responses. People want to defend it because people live in, right? There's so much of a negative environment. It's so much of a negative environment. There's corona going on. There's, there is, I mean, like, uh, you know, in some parts of the world, there, is, there, is, there are so many, there is, uh, you know, problems, insurgency problems going on right now. So it is very important. Most people are living in fear right now, right? The environment. So it is very important that we create this environment of positivity. So smile, let us smile, let us smile, let us present ourselves, right? In a very loving way so that the other person feels comfortable and we create a, a beautiful impact. So one thing is smile, right? And then the body, Right, the how how we present ourselves, how we present ourselves, the way we sit. If we sit like this, if we talk to someone, if we sit, cross our arms and talk to someone, if we sit like this, what's going to happen is we are not going to feel connected. You're not going to feel connected. Maybe he's thinking something else. Maybe he's thinking something else. Maybe he doesn't like my idea. It's a perception. It's the perception. It's the perception of you. Right. It's the perception of you. And the way how you perceive is the way how we're going to respond. The way how you perceive someone is the way how you're going to respond. So how are you making yourself perceive, right? So that's another thing. And uh, one more thing that I would like to uh, bring out is body language. About body language is that you can read people's mind. You can read people's mind. You can, yeah, this has been founded by research. Because body language is nothing but how the brain processes information. Body language is nothing but how the brain processes information. There are three types of people, right? Three types of people. One is called visual. The second one is called auditory. The third one is called kinesthetic. So if you understand how someone process information, if you understand how someone process information, 
you'll be able to convey your message in a such a way that they'll be able to understand it very effectively, right? And, and they'll be able to digest it very well and you can get along very well. So the first one is visual. You have to know, visual people are very concerned about appearance. They're very concerned about appearance, how they look, how, how they look in front of people. They're very concerned about their dressing because their, their, their brain processes more on visuals. They think more in pictures, right? They think more, their brain process information more in pictures. So they're very concerned about how they look, how they present themselves. So visual people, and if they remember something, they will tend to look up because, right? Visual people, because, right? They will look up in the corners, right? So that they can remember something. Right? And they will use words more like look, see, saw, visual words. So if you want to influence a guy, if you want to influence a guy, you have to use certain words, the visual guy. If, if you know the person is visual, then you have to use certain words like look, see, feel, because that's how their brain process information. These are called visual people, right? So let's say there's a shop that sells uh, laptops, okay? And this guy comes in and he must be more concerned about you know, the looks, the color, right? So if you convey your message, if you can convey your message, you can sell your product in such a way that, uh, that, that he will be more likely to be influenced through visual, right? It looks good, it looks great. And the, and the video, when you play the video on the laptop, it is amazing. When you, when you talk in his language, he will, he will be influenced, he will understand it more. So it's not simply just, it's, it's really about understanding how the brain works, how the mind works, how the brain process information. The second category is the auditory, the auditory, right? So 75% of the people in the world are visuals, visually oriented people. They're more, they're, like, they're more concerned about looks, right? How they present themselves, color, right? So these are 75% of the world are visual. Then the other one, we have auditory. These represent around 25% of the world, 25% of the population in the world. So they're more like auditory. So their postures include like this. They will wanna listen, they will, right? They will put their, this is called a telephone posture because they're leaning with their ears. They want to hear more and they will use words more like listen, hear, right? Auditory words. Can you hear me? I want to listen. I need to, I need to, and, and the way they use their faces, they will look down. When they try to remember something, they will want to bring out what they heard. They will want to recall what they heard. They will want to remember what they heard. So they will look, they will look down, right? In the corners, left and right corners. And then they will try to recall what they have heard long back. That's how they, 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 they process information. So if there's a customer and they came to your shop, or if you, if you know that the, if, the, if the customer or the person is auditory, you should, be, you should speak in a way, visual people speak very fast. Just, just a quick note, visual people speak very fast because they think in pictures. They think in pictures and they speak very fast. Auditory people, on the other hand, they are not that fast and not that slow, in the middle, moderate, right? Because they wanna hear. And so they speak, like visual people, they wanna make sure that, uh, you know, they, 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 they talk about things in a very, uh, they, 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 their base is very fast. They wanna talk about things in a very fast way. This is the way they talk. The auditory people, when they talk, they talk in a, very, in a bit slower tone. That's how they talk, because that's how their brain process information. The third type of people is the kinesthetic people. The kinesthetic people, it's like, it's all about feelings. It's all more about feelings. And this represents 5% of the people. And this represents 5% of the people. So they're more very touchy. They will, they will, when you're having a conversation with them, they will wanna touch you. And if you feel comfortable, they will hold a pen in their hands. They will always wanna grab something, right? This is what, they, these are kinesthetic, kinesthetic, people. So if you're speaking to a, if you know that he or she is kinesthetic, what you have to do is you have to talk 
in a very, in a bit slower tone because they want to feel it. They want to feel it, right? And he used the words like feeling, how I felt, right? Touch, and they use the words like grabs, something. It's, it has more to deal with, it has more to do with feelings. So we, what we can do is we can observe people. We can observe people, right? There are more books, there are videos on that. You can go to YouTube, right? And search regarding the topic and then get more information on that. So it, is, it, it has more to do with influence. It has more to do with influence, how you influence someone, how you influence someone. It has more to do with influence, how you influence someone. That is very important, right? So if you understand how the other person processes information, see, the, the thing is, the most important thing is if you want to influence someone, you have to know what already influences them. If you want to influence someone, you have to know what already influences them. That is very important. If he, if he loves riding bikes and if you give him, if you, if you, if you tell him that, hey, let's go, let's go to a cafe and let's have some coffee because I love it. He's not going to love it. He's not going to like it. If you, if you tell him like, hey, let's go, let's go for a tracking. Let's go out there. There's a mountain over there and I love it. It's so amazing. If you tell him in, in, in the way he prefers it, you can easily influence him. So in order for us to influence someone, it is very important how, it is very important to know what already influences them. That's how influence works, right? So this is about communication, your body language, your tone of voice, and, and why, you know, you can easily spot if somebody is telling the truth or if somebody is lying. Because the way, by the way he presents his body, his actions, and the way he, his tone of voice and the words. You can actually spot a liar. This is called being incongruent, incongruent. He does not really mean what he's saying, right? He does not really mean what he's saying. He's really not telling the truth. You can spot it right there because there's an incongruency over there. He does the, so what we really have to do is, in order for a communication to be effective, we have to squeeze the meaning out of the words. And yes, uh, on a previous live session with Sir Wilson, he said, it is not about communicating. I still remember that and that is very important. It is not just about communicating. It's not simply just about saying what you say. It is about connecting. It is about connecting. That's what he said. And that has a profound impact. It's about really saying it from the heart. When you're really seeing it from the heart, that's when you connect. That's when the authenticity comes in. That's when it becomes true. That's when you really connect. That's when you really become empathic to someone. It's not simply just about communicating, saying what you want to say. It is about connecting. If you really want to influence someone, you need to connect. That is very important. So that's what we need to do. We have to say it from the heart. Right? You have to really mean it. Your intention is also very important. When you convey the message, our intention is also very important, right? So uh, I, I would love to add it. It's about connecting. It is not simply just communicating. How much, how much of a connection do we have? If you really want to influence someone, and it has been even noted that EQ, emotional quotient, is much, much more important than intelligent, intelligent quotient. If you are more empathic, if you are a more empathic person, you will have more influence for, with someone rather than if you're just being an intelligent person. So it's more to do with emotions. It's more to do with, I care for you. If you really want to influence someone, you have to show that you care. You have to show that you care, right? That is a very important part of communication. That's, that is what I would like to state today as well, right? So I'm sure there are some, uh, those are some useful points regarding communication. And yes, I would also like to bring out another topic that is called passion, right? Passion. What is this thing called passion? What is exactly this thing called passion? What is passion all about? It's a strong emotional attachment. It's a small emotional reaction to something, a small emotional reaction, a small emotional attachment to something, to an activity, to a person, or whatever it is, there's a small emotional bonding and attachment. You're immersed in it. That's what passion is. 
So, I mean, like, what I would love to say to the youths of Northeast, and yes, to the youths of the world, and India as well, is that find your, you know, like, passion is something, there is this saying, like, uh, right? We have this false assumption that you are something, you're, there's something in you that you must discover. It's regarding there's something in you that you must discover that once you discover, you should work on it and then you should develop it. And then what, and, and that's how you become successful. That's what passion, most people think about passion. This is how we're being educated regarding passion that it is something that we should be discovering. We, are, we, are, we should discover it. Yes, right? But I mean, there's something you're born with. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's something you're born with. There's something you're born with. There's something you're born with that you have to find out. But here's, here's the other thing. Here's the new concept. Passion is something that we need to develop. Passion, there, it is something that we need to develop. It is a process. It is a strategy. Right in the beginning, it will be it will be difficult. In the middle, it will be messy, and in the end, it will be beautiful. That's what Robin Sharma says. So when you do something new, when you do something new for the very first time, when you're new to it, it'll be difficult. You'll find it difficult. It'll be hard for you to follow through. You might not understand the concept. Most importantly, it's driving the car. Let's say you're driving the car for the very first time, and like you have to pay a lot of attention to so many things. The wheels, right? The back mirror and who's in front of you, who's behind you, who's at the side. At the same time, we have to, I mean, like press the accelerator and so the, 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 the gears, the gears and all. So there are so many things. There are so many things to pay attention to. And so it's difficult. It's a tedious process. And so what we need to do is, but, but what we need to do is we need to keep, keep, keep practicing it, be consistent. Keep practicing it, be consistent, and we will automatically develop it, right? If we quit the moment, if we quit the, the moment we quit, when we think it's, it's hard, that's when we fail, right? So that's what I want to say. So what we exactly need to do is we need to persist and be consistent. The other thing is there are four, I mean, like there are, there are four ways to, there are four steps to develop any skill. To nurture any skill, to develop any, any skill, we have to go through the four steps. The first is like, you, you don't know what you don't know. The first step is you, you, like the, like you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. The second is like, you're becoming conscious of what you don't know. You're becoming aware of what you don't know. The third thing is, once you are becoming aware of what you don't know, you're starting to develop. You're practicing it. You're practicing it. You're developing it, right? You're focusing on it. You, you, you're right. You're working on it every single day, and that's how you start developing it. Then what happens at the end is you become master of it. It becomes unconscious. You don't have to think about it. After months and months of practicing, what it's like, it's, it becomes your second nature. It becomes your habit. So you have to go through these four, I mean like four stages. You have to go through these four stages to become a master, to become an expert in what you do, right? So passion is something that you can develop. But once you start making progress, you become more happy because progress equals happiness. Progress equals happiness, right? Progress equals happiness. The business is growing. Wow, you become happy. Hey, the relationship is getting better. Wow, you become happy. What else? I mean, like, uh, hey, I, I, I'm getting more pay. You become happy. My, my health is becoming better. Anything, when we're making progress, progress equals happiness. The focus is to grow. The objective and the mission is to make progress, right? So that's what we need to do. And so the passion, when you put your heart and soul to something, right, and you, and you commit to it, if you're willing to die for something, here's what they say. If you're willing to die for something, right, there's a 90% there's a, there's chance that you might achieve it. There's a high chance that you might achieve it because there's no other option. There's commitment. So, I mean, like, I would, I, would, I would want people to find out their passion, discover their passion. I would want people to discover their passion, find out their passion, right? Experiment so many things, try it out. And I believe that that's how you nurture your passion, right? So to all the youths of Northeast watching this live session, right? Life is once, life is once. 
And by the way, what's going to stop most people is perfection. What's going to stop most people is trying to be perfect. What's most, what's most people are missing out is like, uh, they want to be perfect. So you're scared to fail. You're, you're afraid to make mistakes. You're afraid to, uh, you're concerned what people would think about you. Hey, be willing to fail. If you want to be successful, here's, here's the formula. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, 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 successful people fail more often than unsuccessful people. The, the light bulb, the electricity, the KFC, they have failed more, right? But if you don't quit at it, you become better at it. You become better and better and better the more you work on it, right? That's how you grow. So be willing to fail. Be willing to make the mistakes. Come out, show up, do it, commit. That's how we grow. That's how we grow. Communication can be improved, right? Passion can be developed. Skills can be developed. There's so many things. So ICSI, with a promise, we're going to bring out, we're going to bring for you so many opportunities, so many opportunities that's going to help change your life. We're going to bring you skills. We're going to bring you skills, trainers, opportunities. We're going to help you find your passion. We're going to help you train your personality. If you want to improve your confidence, if you want to improve your personality, if you want to improve your communication skills, it's how you present, right? So we're going to help you. I see, I see, I, with a promise, we have so many opportunities lined up just for you so that we can rock this place. Right. So, so, so watch out, please subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel so that if there's any new information, right, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be an entrepreneur, right, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to know how to build a startup, right, how to, where to get the funding, this is the channel for you. This is where we bring out the information, the latest information so that we can help you develop and grow your business, be an entrepreneur. And yes, we have this media and entertainment, beauty and wellness programs, projects lined up for you. If you love makeup, if you wanna be a fitness trainer, or if you wanna be in the media industry, entertainment industry, we have special projects coming up just for you. We're bringing it just for you. So watch out, guys. Right? Let's 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 grow together. Let's help one another and make it one of the most amazing, uh, you know, platforms. Business. Let's let's grow the business. Let's be an entrepreneur. How you want it? Let's do it. So, I think I'm talking too much. I think I'm talking too much. I, I think I'm fumbling right now. Excuse me for that. So that, that is what. So we bring you, we bring you information, lattice information. We bring you uh, the, 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 the tools, the techniques necessary for you to grow your business. So coming to the topic for today, we have this communication and passion. Communication and passion. It is important because it is important that we learn the art of communication. It is important we develop our passion because we need to, we, in order for you to influence someone, we need to know how to communicate. In order for you to influence someone, we need to know how to communicate. So there's the body language, we need to learn how to present ourselves, the tone of voice, right? right, And then the words you use, there's so much more about it. And then, yes, we need to learn how to develop our passion. So it was an amazing session with you all, a live session with you all, right? It was an amazing live session with you all. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, you, the people, the audience watching this live session got some bit of information, useful information, right? And we're going to bring you a lot more. We're going to bring you a lot more. We want to help me. We want to make sure there are so many people, youths in Northeast right now. There's so many youths in Northeast right now who wants to do something great in life. There's so many youths in Northeast who's looking for an opportunity. There's so many youths in Northeast who want to learn so many skills, Right? who wants to be entrepreneur, who wants to work in the media industry, who wants to work in the entertainment industry, who wants to work in the beauty industry, who wants to be a trainer, a fitness trainer, a yoga trainer, right? We have those opportunities coming up just for you. So watch out, uh, right? Subscribe to the channel 
and we will bring you right what you need. Yes, and I would love Ms. Chitra to take it uh, forward. Yes. Uh, so, um, Mr. Kagimba, thank you so much. It is a very energetic session that we have heard. And uh, it's, it's like, it's truly amazing because not many people have written a lot many things on YouTube live chat and they are smiling. They are energetic and you, you have communicated. In fact, you have connected with the people and we have learned so many things uh, from you uh, through this session. Few questions I would like to take, sir, with your permission, if you will. Uh, sure. Yes. So first, um, can you just uh, elaborate on to what is the difference between a passion and an interest or maybe okay. a ha habit? People have, yeah. ha they have interest, even they have passion, but what are, what is the difference in these three? The, it's, the, there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference. Interest is something you desire. A passion is something you're strongly attached to it. So, and, and, and there's a difference in the emotional attachment. There's a difference in the emotional intensity. There's a difference in the emotional intensity. When you're very passionate about something, you're committed. I mean, like you're so hungry about it. And interest, you're right, just interested. You might not take any action. There's a difference in the level of emotional intensity uh, between interest and passion. So let's say I'm very passionate about singing. So this person will be very immersed and very involved, involved with singing. And if you just have an interest, right? You might sing, you know, in a while, sometimes. So th there's a difference. So, I mean, like there's a difference in the emotional intensity between interest and, and, and passion. Yeah. So again, I'm coming on to this particular question only, sir. If, if we say about the adult people, like adult, mature ones, so they can easily understand. But when we talk about, <clears throat> I'm sorry, an adolescent um, child or an ado adolescent young person, so they are not mature enough to understand the difference. And most of the time they think that whatever they are interested into, they are passionate also. But at the later age, they came to know, no, no, this is not my passion. And they then take a U-turn. Many times it happens with adolescent young, young minds. So um, how you make them uh, motivated or explain these things to them? How should yeah. they? So, yeah, so like I said, it is a skill. It has to be developed. If you're growing at something, I mean, yeah, you have to really find out what is that you really want. You have to find out really, and you have to go through so many experiences. You have to experiment a lot of things. I mean, and then you just stick with it, commit to it. There is this guy called Grant Cardone. He's a billionaire and he hated sales so much. He hated sales so much. But then what happened was he decided, I'm going to commit and become the very best at the, at the thing that I hate the most. He's a billionaire right now. And there are so many people who hated uh, so many things, but they become so great at it. It's a matter of developing, progressing, committing to it, working on it, crafting it, and making it better. And yes, if you feel like you're not interested in something, yeah, you, you, you always have a choice to change it. But if you keep changing, you become jack of all trades, but master of none. What is really important is to commit, develop, and craft it so that you become a master at it. So what I would say is, I mean, like, yeah, most people, they give up too soon. Most people, they give up too soon. Most people, they give up too quick because it's hard. What's lacking is this grit and persistence. That's what's required. What's stopping most people is because they don't have that stay on the course attitude, the right attitude, the persistence. They don't have it. They, it needs to be trained. So many of the youths right now, it's so soft that if they go through a little, go through little problems or challenges, they're willing to just give up and quit. So uh, what I feel like it can be developed. Yes, I'm, I know there's something called a talent. There's something called talent, but if you do not nurture it, if you do not craft it, then I guess it won't go much far. So what I feel it's is more about discipline, commitment. That's gonna what. That's what's gonna you know make it great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your answer, sir. Uh, my another question is like you talked about empathy in communication, and that is very yes, important. Yes, yes. At the yeah. same time, um, uh, like critical thinking. What yes. What do you 
to say about critical thinking in communication and does critical thinking brings negative communication more or a positive communication so your views well, to that yeah so what i what i feel is what i would say is it has its benefits and it has it has its advantage and it has its disadvantage as well right so you, you need you see there is this thing called i mean in the book the billion dollar secret he was studying the billionaires all across the globe and there is one important skill the, uh, he he wrote down six skills that you need to succeed uh, and become a successful leader of which four of them were related to relationship how to build relationship with people how how do you build relationship with people how do you build how do you how do you create trust how do you build rapport how do you build relationship four of the skills were related in building relationships the other two was in critical thinking and and and, and logical thinking critical thinking and logical thinking i mean it is very important that you know you have your logic you you have your plan you chart out a very good plan and it's just not it's fashion is not simply just going to work when you close your eyes and you're so because you're just so committed you close your eyes and just run it i mean you need to think critically that is very important you have to be a logical thinker as well and that's when i said uh, i mean like the uh, the so an individual can be kinesthetic visual an individual can be kinesthetic and visual right so if you're very kinesthetic you'll be very emotional visually oriented and yes with that you need to have a balance and logical thinking because most people are carried away Uh, get carried so easily with emotions that they forget to think critically analyze it plan it uh to execute and and and, and make it work especially yeah. in the professional world yes right yeah. thank you so much sir and it's lovely hearing you once again i would like to say this and with this we want to bring you again and again on different topic various topic because empowerment is something which is keep on going and going and going and uh, looking forward for more such sessions with this i would like to thanks you thank you and a last uh, motivational inspiring note for all the lovely audience that we have today your last uh, message for today's webinar yeah thank you for i mean like it's amazing to be here it's amazing to be a part of this live session where i can contribute what i know what i've learned my experiences in making lives better my mission and my job is to make is to make sure i impact we impact me along with icsi we impact as much as life as possible and bring the quality in the lives of the people that's the mission and the vision right by bringing certain skills by by training people giving them world class skills right so that's the mission we are here so uh right what the i would love i would love to end it with this okay what's really important is pay the price now so that you can pay the price later pay the price now so that you can pay the price later so right so focus com- commit dedicate in 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 improving your skills communication right your personality develop your personality your mindset your attitude learn the skills that is necessary that's going to help you get ahead in life every day we learn every day we need to be a learner we every day we need to be a student right be right be ready to make mistakes be ready to fail because if you're looking for perfection that's what's going to stop most people that's what's going to stop me most people that's what's stopping most people they're scared to come out they're scared to make a mistake and that is what it is whatever it takes you have to do whatever it takes right so pay the price now focus on what is important focus on what's going to build your life focus on what's going to improve the standard of your life focus on what skills is necessary focus on that and one more thing is right what you do in private will come out in public what you do in private will come out in public what you do in private will come out i repeat once again what you do in private will come out in public so right pay the price now keep the major things right keep the minor things as the minor things keep the major things as the major things 
So with this, I would love to meet you. Some projects are coming up. The youths of Northeast India, I would love to meet you all. We have so many opportunities lined up for you. And I'm very happy being a part of this live session. So thank you so much for having me. Yeah. So have thank a great you, day. Sir. Thank you. Very great important day. message you have given. And uh, uh, on your part, I would also want to say the one important thing that keeps smiling, always keep smiling. So with yes. this, uh, good night, everyone, and have a good evening. Um, and also a good afternoon in the other part of the globe. And um, a happy weekend to all of you. Thank Bye -bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Take care, guys.